What is going on, everybody? It is Monday. Marvelous, marvelous Monday. So, a bit pretty productive day. Um, my BCW order came in. I don't think I've had this much supplies in two years. I've never really stocked up before, but my whole shelf behind me is just like ready to overflow it out. So, um, if we start doing a lot more breaks, box up, and stuff, I'll be able to get top loaded quicker into the store without a fear of running low all right with that said let's get to a little melody oh check this out they give you about a hundred of these things so this is a card thickness point gauge so you know what to actually place your card in with a bcw product i love this i don't know what more i could say this is the phenomenal idea to use because now you know okay well that card fit in here or here and, I mean, it's pretty easy to use. I mean, oh, look, you know, 20-pointer. It's paper, you know. I don't think of anything bigger. It's just laying out to show you. But, I mean, whenever you're sitting there with the big, thick cards, you can't guess. Great tool to have. So, as you guys get some orders out of the store, I'll throw these in with your uh, orders. till I run out. All right, all right. That was one thing I wanted to cover. So, let's take a look at some of the stuff here. So this was out of a break from ABC 123s. So the highlights are really these Aquinos. And honestly, I have so many of these Aquinos now um, with like 60 or 70 of bulk. These are going to go in the store. That, that's pretty much the highlight there <laughs> of uh, <laughs> I didn't do too wonderful break. All right. Let's go to some of the cool stuff. This here came in from Magnus. Won this in his giveaway about a week ago, I would say, offhand. This is a 2011 Topps Diamond Anniversary, if you guys remember this autograph. And this is Juan Marichal. Happy 60th, Juan Marichal. I think this is an outstanding card. Um, I really like the silver graphs that they do with this stuff. It's numbered 47 out of 60. Of course, you're going to get a 9 on the auto. There's just no other way because it's just way too much, and the half is a little bit looking smeared because of the pen they used back then. Overall, 9. Looks like corners got it, but, hey, look at it. It's black cornered in. You can't really do much unless you go straight to pack with it. i I change this out. All righty, all righty, all righty. Let me change this out real, real quick. You guys know me. I'm like a fanatic when it comes to... Is this one of these? Yeah, what am I doing? I am so tired that I tried to lay down, but the dog didn't want to lay down. So I was like, okay, video time that I was stalling on. All right, so pick this up from my 86 Tops trade set, Wally Joiner, PSA 10. This will move me along. I got another one coming in the mail. Uh, the PSA 10 pop is like... One or two, I forget what it was on, so I picked a nine up. It's not Wally Jordan, it's a different card. So really nice. I'm gonna get this logged into the old set and everything. Is that cracked? Can't be cracked. Let me look at this. So I didn't put this in this case. I really upset if it is. Nope, it's the bag the way it is. We'll give you a fresh sleeve, Mr. Wally Joiner. So what we like to do in fresh sleeves to go in the stacks. And I'm going to briefly touch here at the end of something I'm going to be doing this week. And I don't have the full details, but I do, but I don't type deal. I don't know how that really doesn't make much sense. But uh, we're going to do something different with a Father's Day giveaway out of the store. And I'll explain that in another video probably tomorrow. Or it might get posted very, very late tonight to early in the morning. There's a lot I have to do for it yet. So, oh, let's just go right in this. 1972 PSA 8. This is Carlton Fisk rookie card. I mean, it's just beautiful. There's just nothing else I could say about it. To find a PSA 8 of this at a decent price, you got to pick it up. Nobody's touching stuff like this in vintage, so... Where people are going out and buying like stuff like this here. Well, really not him. This here I wanted to razz. I think I spent like six bucks or something. But this is a 1415 Select Silver. Uh, Andrew Wiggins. Why does it say pre? 
no idea. Really weird. Anyhow, it's a 9 5. Um, silver from Select. It is his rookie card. Picked it up in a Raz win. It was something cool I seen, might use for a giveaway or something. I think there's a scratch on the case there. I don't know. More than likely it is. Um, because people just don't take care of their stuff too well anymore. Next up, yeah, go ahead and laugh. 2017 Panini Prism Trubisky Silver Prism PSA 10. I picked this up for a little over 40 bucks. If Nick Foles does not pan out and they go back to Trubisky and he has a good game or two, this thing will skyrocket because everybody's going to want it. I tried to pick a couple more, but I just couldn't win them. So I don't want to invest a whole lot into it because if he does falter, <laughs> which he could be like the next Jay Cutler, but I want to make sure I at least have a couple of his things because if it goes up, I'm going to you know be the person that kicks myself in the thing. Uh, is that it for Mail Day? That's it for Mail Day. So real quick, we're still going to do a YouTube subscriber giveaway this weekend. Oh, what kind of my mats? This is, I'm glad BCW ordered me a second mat. Um, on top of it, we're going to run it. It's not going to start probably until tomorrow. Uh, well, actually, I'll probably start whenever the video post. I got a lot of stuff to stick in the store. So, with that being said... Um, we'll still do a YouTube subscriber giveaway Friday through Sunday. We're going to do like, kind of like something we did way, way back in the day. Um, and it's Father's Day and I know everybody could either possibly be a father, have a father, have a stepfather, a father-in-law, somebody out there they call father, hopefully, I don't know. But the idea is it's going to be Father's Day and the majority of us are collector men. So I'm going to do something a little bit different this week. It's going to be based off of total sales out of the store. So the more sales, the higher the giveaway. Um, I'm thinking about doing it three tiers. And stuff will be stocked in the store. Finest, I have scratched. We're not going to do a break on finest. Because I want as many people as I can involved in this giveaway for Father's Day. And I want to do something for the store for everybody that keeps buying because you, you guys deserve something. You know, I do the YouTube subscriber giveaway, and I never ask anybody to buy out of the store for it. But I want to do something different for the people going to the store and buy. So this is just an idea I'm throwing out. I haven't finalized it in my old uh, extreme head here. But it's going to be... A tier level thing so if we reach X amount of dollars in sales it'll be this if we make it to this point we'll add something if we hit the grand part we'll hit this piece here um, I, I'm not too sure if we'll do winner take all if we do all three tiers or we'll just do top three and that everybody can choose idea will be it will run through Father's Day and we will do it Monday and I'll do it a little bit later so that everybody has hopefully a chance to come on to the stream and, you know, get involved into it if you bought from the store. This is not for certain yet because I haven't done the math. I'm thinking you get one spot entered for every $5 you spend in the store. Because I know there's a lot of stuff. I can't believe the dog just burped in my face. But um, that, I don't even know if you guys heard. She like jumped on my lap and I put my head down. I was going to say what? And she's like, Bruh. She was upstairs drinking water. But anyhow, what I'm thinking. <laughs> perfect. I'm doing this on a pre-recorded video. I should start it over after that. But uh, too far in now. But um, back to what I was saying. I know there's a lot of like 50 cent dollar stuff. And I like to try to get everybody involved into it some way. At the same time frame. I want to test something out and more with the Google algorithm. And I just want to see the more people, the more traffic into the store with sales, just what it does overall with my website analytics to, that I have the Google little code thing in and a couple other things. So it's kind of like a dual reward. I did want to do something for Father's Day, but I'm going to up it up and we'll see how this goes completely. Um, so it might be something like, so if you spend $20 a store, you'll get four entries into the giveaway. And it's going to be as p 
people purchase, I'm just going to keep a rolling tally list. And if you, but there'll be some nicer stuff being put in the store. Don't worry. Um, but I'll do an official video onto it. I mean, if you spend a hundred dollars, you get twenty spots into it. But you're also still getting something at a good price in the store as well. I'm going to try to take a look at everything in there too tonight. So I'll probably be spending a few hours. So if you see me in a stream and I'm not talking, that's why. Um. It's, I mean, I got all these Bowmans here sitting here. I got to go through. These are all paper down into here. So, I mean, lots of stuff to where we don't have to have you. You're not going to like miss a stream type deal and stuff like that. So please wait till the video comes out before you all start buying the store. Pete, wait for the video. But I guess this is stuff I picked up from people um, that I just haven't gotten to. Our parents from Hoops. There's a Rushman. There's some. There's a Jordan. And I'm going to look these over, and I'm going to price them according to where I think. I just grade a lot of this stuff. Eli Manning, there's basketball. Jordan, 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 Shaq, Shaq. Who's that? Uh, Jalen Noel, rookie blue. Uh, is that Jordan Bone? Yeah, Jordan Bone. Jordan, Jordan, Arias, Alvarez Aquino. Nick Senzel, Urias, Rendon, Grisham, Kershaw, Seeger, Kane, Ornelas, Florial, Hertz, Eason, Hertz, Herbert, Chase Young, Tua, Dribble, Franco. These things that I won a while back. And there'll be other stuff I'm going to pull. Um, from my slabs and put on to where I'll sell it at a comfortable price for me. My slabs, I do have a, like, a little bit lower on eBay just because of fees and stuff like that. So I'll try to see where I can go on some of this stuff on that. I shouldn't be getting much more mail in this week, so what you see is what you get minus what I buy for Friday and I'll get that put in the store right away. I'm trying to look up behind me and see um, it'll probably be a Luca Donruss rookie being put in there. P uh, BGS nine five, a Petey Alonzo from Series two. And I believe that is the hundred and fifty years. Uh, I can't see what half the stuff is up there. I'm not going to lie to anybody, but I'll throw a couple things in behind too, but. Uh, be prepared for that. I'm not going to come online and do a live sell or Father's Day weekend. I know a lot of people are going to be doing stuff either as a father, or with their father, maybe their father-in-law, um, step stepfather, um, something in those realms there. So, again, thank you, everybody, for watching this. I know I went over 10 minutes. Uh, wasn't on purpose, really. But give me until I post the next video before anybody starts buying, so that way I can get the whole official blurb and rolls out on how that this is going to work. And that should be it. Oh, I might have two more pieces coming in the mail this week. Just thought about it. Maybe three. But other than that, thank you, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the mail day. I figured I'd give you a little hint, hint on something I'm doing. Uh, try to do a dual giveaway this week, one with the YouTube subscriber and then one with the... Uh, uh, Father's Day thing for people that always buy in a store. All right, that's it for me. Take care, everybody. I will probably catch you all either later tonight or tomorrow with the video explaining the rules. Talk to y'all later.